there. This is Will from Cincinnati. I have an ethical question for you guys. Okay. Um, I work in media production, used to work in the film industry. I um, have a lot of friends from college who also work in the same industry. And I recently came across a college alma mater of mine who uh, posted on Facebook that he worked with the Babylon Bee to interview Elon Musk. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> And me and my friends, we have a little political current events group chat. And we enjoy clowning on the news, conservatives, politics, etc. So this guy um, is dating your old girlfriend? I'm sorry? Wait, who did you say this was? I, t- I missed it. I, I, you caught up a little uh, on my earpiece. Was, I'm sorry. He was a, uh, a former college classmate of mine who's college. now working professionally in media production. Okay, sorry. Sorry. Go on. So we were all clowning a little bit, laughing that someone we knew from college was doing a video with the Babylon Bee to interview Elon Musk. But it started kind of an ethical conversation amongst us. Like, we all work in media, but where do you draw the line when you're trying to work for money? Where's that separation where, you know, I probably wouldn't do a campaign video for the Trump campaign or... (laughs) I wouldn't like yeah. do Fox News, for example. But like when you're working for a production company, you don't always get to pick the clients you work for. So like ethically, as a worker, and this extends to other fields, I'm sure. Where where do you typically draw the line on when you should act out your morals and your ability to do work? Well, we got super lucky working in this industry, or working where we do, and working in progressive media. So there's a lot of ways I think that. Like I skirt, I'm, I don't know how you feel about this, Matt, but I feel that's part of what I feel lucky about is that I'm, I feel confident in the the ethics of the majority report, the way Sam runs things. Um, So that's, uh, I, I, I do like envy the rest of pretty much everybody else who has to deal with these quandaries. And there's no ethical way to participate in society in the way that you're asked of in under our current system. There just is none. So you all have to, you you just have to draw lines in the way that you feel comfortable and not judge other people. I mean, you can judge them maybe if they're like working for the Trump campaign, of course. But if, Mm. if it's like, you know, you're working for a corporation or you have to make money working for X industry and it isn't completely... uh, It's not a cooperative or it's not... Uh, worker owned or whatever the case may be people just got to exist in society and sometimes you have to give a lot of grace for members of your family friends etc yeah i think it's like what line can you draw um the best way to not have to take these sorts of uh things is to have a unionized workplace that has a a, a, a clear view of these sorts of issues but that is uh, like you you know an insane insane luxury so I, I think, um, you know, I have a lot of friends that are in film production. That's who I um, roomed with in undergrad, and they, a lot of them have moved out either New York or L.A., and they they do like fa- a lot of Fashion Week stuff and that stuff, and it's not like Republican politics, thankfully. Uh, I, I think, ultimately, um, you got to survive. And uh, also, you know, maybe take a chance for a sabotage if you <laughs> can uh, get a really good. Uh, yeah, then, and I would draw the line that way. Don't just quit. Um, take the job and try to get paid for it and uh, maybe mess it up in a way that isn't uh, super legally uh, uh, troubling for you. Um, but uh, yeah, there's not really an easy way out of that if because it's not really your line to draw. It's your bosses, right? <laughs> they draw the lines on the contract with all these problematic people that need video production work. And it's not really yours to draw. And I think, so don't act like it is and, uh, you know, get too bent out uh, about it. Yeah, we weren't, we weren't trying to give them a hard time, but we were kind of like laughing about it, but then asking ourselves, what would we do if we were right. in that situation? Would we draw the line or would we just say, hey, it's a paycheck, you gotta do what you gotta do. 